Before this video starts, I just want to point out that this game was not a silver game. It was a game in high golds to low plats. <clears throat> so if you think I just like went on Smurf and did good as a geek, well, there's a proof right there. What's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing some Iggy and Scorch. <clears throat> Iggy and Scorch has been like one of the... I don't know how to describe it. It's yeah, people in before in Agora, they were the best. They were one of the best casters ever, but now, like, no one plays it. No one plays this character. I actually, uh, <clears throat> I actually thought they were good, and they are. I don't know how pe why people are like, oh my god, Iggy and Scorch are so bad. They're so bad, while they never played it. I see people be like, oh, Iggy and Scorch are bad, don't play it. I'm like, have you ever played Iggy and tried it? I'm like, okay, you haven't done it, so why don't you let me try it? This game as well, before this game started, I had our Stevrog and Decker say no Iggy, but I'm like, screw it, and I locked in anyways, and they're like, it's gonna be hard, <clears throat> and then I ended up winning, like and then, <clears throat> I just love Iggy so much, I'm actually more comfortable playing Iggy than like, like a lot of other passers, right here, just coming to the Narbash, Melton, his oil does so much damage, and the ult as well, at the end, the knockaway you can just easily catch up to with the R1. <laughs> Iggy also really depends on the build you build him in. For example, you can't just build damage, damage, and damage. You need like some mana, you need some cooldown reduction, which is Chronomancer Disc and Chrono and the on the other card, I forgot the name of it. Build those cards, you'll get some cooldown, which is good. You do spit out like oil and what every what five six seconds which is really good and you'll also come back really good quickly as well with Iggy you need to be really <clears throat> you need to be really careful of what you're doing like you need to have a good map awareness and all that and like, you need to be like basically you need to, need to be have like a good sense of game sense right here I'm just like thinking around what should I do I know that this guy this robot is gone since the Quang took it <clears throat> and then this game was one of the most intense games, I want to say, because it actually came down to the vi wire. What happened was that, since the latest patch, what you, what, this is what basically every single team does. 5 stack, do Raptors at 4 minutes, wait till 10 minutes, do OP by like 15 minutes, and win the game. That's basically the whole game. That's why in the PCL this weekend, there weren't a lot of teams, so they had to cancel it. That's basically the strat. And th this team actually did that as well, but... It was like such a clutch thing. It would did I forgot to report it, but they went OP at I wanna say about twenty not twenty, like fifteen or sixteen minutes. And then I'm like, okay, their lanes are pushing against them. Their tier show is getting destroyed. And none of them were there. I'm like, where are they at? I was at right lane, so I'm like, you know what, they're hundred percent at OP. I go there, their Aurora gets executed, I'm like, they're definitely OP. I spam I need help. I spam I need help again, again, again. My team comes in and then they get OP, but I, I was like, before my team comes in, I racked up so many kills, OP was helping me as well, and I, was, <clears throat> I got two kills, one was executed, so we got, we basically got a three man, which was a bad on their part, and you know, that's the thing, you need to be having like, game sense to understand that they're probably going OP right now, like if they're not here, they're not there, they're probably somewhere, and that's where you need to know where they're at right now. This several, <clears throat> in this game, it was like a pretty easy one since like our team was doing decent, our spare was doing good. They had their gadget was like a little uh, meh, and then because she kept wasting her mana on me, and right now I see like our Morgesh getting ganked, and right now I was like, oh she's dead, but we could get two kills. Turns out she did die from um, from the Narbash, but Iggy and um, me and the Severak were able to clean up. I'm just like, okay, this, please don't tell me he got away. And then boom, I burn him. I started rotating to mid since I saw Gadget there and all that. And that's what you need to do with Iggy. With Iggy, you can turn around fights like crazy. And right there up there is the three people that died from their OP thing. That I talked about. And with Iggy in team fights, you need to be like, you need to, you can do serious damage if they don't have any like AOE abilities. Like in this game, the only a AOE abilities they had were um, 
were the uh, Sparrow's Hill of Arrows and uh, Narbash's ult. Those are the only two that can destroy my turrets. Yeah, sure. The, um, as a mid laner, you could just put down turrets and gadgets and destroy it. But what if you put them strategically? What can you do is that you can put the turrets behind your minions so she can't like basic attack them down. And then if she if she wants to destroy it, she has to use like her uh, her R1 to like do damage on it over time, which wastes her mana. So you have to make those decisions on how to place your turrets and all that. Yeah, this is the only one. And right here, right here's my favorite part. I just go in on her. And I'm like, hey, you want to be friends? Let's come be friends. I just burn her. One v one, that sparrow. Easy, easy. Th that's that's the things you need to do. You need to just go after their carries. Yeah, carries will be able to melt you like <clears throat> a little bit. But I built some health, so they can't like like two shot me. That's that's why building is important as well. Like if you were using um some car some cards that are not like not and right there. He's like, God damn, Iggy, how are you doing that? That Decker in the beginning was like, don't pick Iggy. And I'm like, thanks. So with the cards, you need to pick the right cards. If you're picking like, let's say, I don't know, let's say, if you're making like micro nukes with Iggy, there's something wrong happening. You need to build cards like Ash of the Witch, which is the best card on Iggy. Like, it is the best card. Like I have it equipped right now, and this is like one of the team fight. I think that was game winning. Actually, no, it was not this one. That's a different one. Right there, I land like a two man oil, and then just put down my turret. Narvas destroys it, and I'm like trapping all these ultimates. I'm like, I need to get out. What happened is that they all get trapped in that OP pit. We get one kill, and then like our whole team's behind them. I just go in, even if I'm low, because I had things to clear. So if I get a kill. I'm gonna get like a lot of health back. I get one kill, and I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I'm dead. So I with 18 health, drink the spirit, still keeping me alive. I'm like, I need to peel for my carry. Unfortunately, she dies, but we get the kill on the Quang. It was an intense fight, and I'm like, attack OP. I'm like, oh, okay, we're all low, just back. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> and then it was one of the intense fights ever, because I got to like 17 health, which was one of the lowest points. And this is what I hate right now. Boom! Right as I was, I was uh, right as I left the um, base, I get the one card point needed to max out my boom shot. But anyways, we go come in mid lane again. Teams are grouping up again, and you just put you can put down a turret with Iggy and your all, and boom, that's a wave destroy. That's how fast the wave clear is. You can have like four turrets, <clears throat> and then this fight was one of them. Like, what is happening at this point? Like, like. Our whole team was like scattered around, some were doing raptors, some are like, <clears throat> some are just farming in lane, some are in jungle, while their team's like grouping up. So, <clears throat> I decided to like start pushing the lane a little with my cards. I see that two of them are on the right side by the frog ball, so I started looking over there and be careful. I see the gadget starting to engage, and I'm like back up. Narbash ult, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't want to go down there. And then I finally go down there because I see Sparrow low. That's how to peel for my more Gesh, and which does work out. She gets out alive. This our bash, and we're like, come on, all in, Clank, all in. And then he finally didn't all in. I noticed that our Sparrow has um, purple buff, and I noticed these two low people coming in. I have no clue how they knew I was coming. Probably they saw me, but there, there was no way they knew it by words. They had no words yet. I could 100% tell. I keep chasing them behind. I see that their gadget gets really low. But I don't know if she doesn't die for some reason. I start chasing this Aurora because kills are more important, I guess. I keep going around the circle. At this point, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. She's not going to do anything. And if she does, well, uh, we have purity while we're in Decker. So I just place a ward, go out to the main fight, try to get this um, gadget, and look. She's not able to like two-shot me or anything. Yeah, she takes out like what well, a lot of my health, but it's not en enough to like kill me in two shots. Right now, I'm like we need to back up since left lane's getting pushed like real hard. I use my speed boost to like start going there. At that point, I notice that Sparrow's in OP, and I'm like, yeah, that's nice. And talking about or OP, the new cards are insanely powerful. 
Like right here, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna back up since I don't have any mana. I'm just gonna throw the wave and back. And then I realized that I had Arch Megaton. After taking no damage, I'm gonna have like so much mana. So I just clear the wave with my old so much damage. I just clear the wave, I start going to mid lane. And just look at the mana region. It gets to 50 mana region, which is insane. And you could have it for like so long, you could just get to uh, full mana. Which I did get to full mana. Their right lane is pushing against them. I don't know why they're not going there. Since we have the... Someone on the team probably has Warlord. With the with the range minions killing one shot, one shot any minions. With that card, we could do anything. So now at this point, we're like, you know what? We have OP, just group and attack. We start going mid lane. I have black buff and all that. We start grouping up. <clears throat> and then I see that... Um, Narbash is going to the right side, so they're not gonna have support. I want to try to go there, but I realize that they're like kind of pushing up out, out of their inhib. So I go try to go behind them, try to distract them, which distraction actually works out. Several came in from behind, boots them, punch them across, and then boom. I ulted for no reason, but I want to secure the kill. Not steal, secure. Because if their carry is out, that's basically a free inhib. Right there, there's like really low of people. And with Iggy, you need to pressure them with the turrets. Iggy's turrets can be like really powerful. Like right there, boom. Narbash went from like, what, 3 quarters health from 1 fourth health. Right there, I tried to body, body block for my um, Sparrow. And it works out, and this several body blocks is playing so much. And right there, we're like, just go in here, this is safe. I try to chase the Narbash down, but the minions block me. And then the Aurora ults, and I'm like, oh shit, I need health. But then I realize how much health I have. And then I blink shot out just in case I needed some help. Somehow, I don't know how, somehow I killed that Aurora and I reset my blink shot. And at this point I'm like, it's GG, it's GG. Iggy wins. It's good game, guys. Again, this is Narbash. He can't do anything. He gets melted. He's trying to ult either. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the Iggy gameplay. I'm probably going to do more of these. Try to get like... A better recording and all that. So see you next.